Did Will, aka Eric Matthews, just strongly hint that Girl Meets World is, in fact, getting picked up by another network? And also my first impressions on the show Degrassi Next Class. All of that coming up right now. What's going on, YouTube? Uh, so I feel like it's been a while since I haven't made a video for two days in a row. That actually felt really, really weird. You know, some people take little breaks from YouTube and it makes them feel better and it re-energizes them and whatnot. And for me, that's true only when I take one day off, but any more than that, and it just starts to feel really weird and I just start to really miss it. One day off is all I need to re-energize myself. After that, it just becomes pointless and even kind of negative. But that's just me. I really enjoy making daily videos with that one off day in between. And I know you guys miss me when I don't make a video, so I don't want to torture you guys like that. But I digress. So where should we start with the video? Let's start with the tweet. The tweet where Will, aka Eric Matthews, he tweeted out that he really loved that he got a chance to play Eric again. And then he says it won't be the last time. He didn't say he hopes it won't be the last time. He said that it won't be the last time. So either he knows something that we don't know, or he's just really confident like the rest of us that Girl Meets World will be picked up by another network. And this really just makes me excited for multiple reasons. One of them being that we aren't the only ones that aren't giving up, and we aren't the only ones confident in Girl Meets World's future. Because if we were the only ones fighting for this, and the actors and actresses were kinda just, you know, staying silent, this whole campaign may have a very different feel to it. In fact, I think it would. But the fact that the actors and the actresses are showing the same love and the same desire to keep the show going, I think that's giving the fans even more hope, and that's also making the fans wanna fight that much harder. Because because we don't want to feel alone in this fight and the writers and actors couldn't care less if the show goes on or not. I mean, Michael Jacobs was one of the first people to come out and express his disappointment in the show getting canceled. And then everything just kind of took off from there. And I'm just glad that everybody is on the same page. At least I hope so. Because if Girl Meets World does get picked up and one of the main actors leaves, well, then that kind of all almost ruins everything depending on who it is. But let's not think negatively. Like I said, we don't have time for that negative energy and all of those negative vibes because there's a battle going on right now and we're winning. So there's no reason to be negative about anything right now, so I'm not even gonna waste my time with negative thoughts. I fully expect a big announcement about Girl Meets World being picked up within the next one to three months. And Michael Jacobs himself has said, that if more than like three to four months goes by without hearing about any news about this, that's too long, and that probably means that it's not gonna happen. So consider this a break for Girl Meets World, just like we would get if it was going into another season, and I'll try to entertain you guys with more Girl Meets World videos regardless, like I always do during the off seasons, but also videos about other shows and other topics as well. One of them being the grass next class because yes I just started watching this show like a few days ago because this is another one of those shows that have been suggested to me a lot over the months so I figured it was about time I checked it out and whatnot and I must say I knew immediately that this show had one of those vibes that I typically like in a show really kind of hard to describe what I mean by that but I feel like every show you watch has a different vibe to it and I could tell right away way that this show had that vibe that I typically really like in a show. Kind of a very similar vibe to what the Fosters had. 
but it takes more than just a good vibe to be a good TV show, obviously. But it was off to a really good start. And I've only watched, I would say, maybe three or four episodes. But so far, I have to say I am enjoying it. I'm really liking the characters. And as you guys know, every time I start watching a new show, it takes me forever to remember anybody's name. But I really do like the black character with the, you know, haircut. I like that the show has gay characters on it. I like how the show clearly isn't scared to talk about serious mature topics like sex for example so that's great now a lot of people were telling me that I should watch like you know previous versions of Degrassi like Degrassi next generation I think that's what it's called before watching this show but that show has like I think 14 seasons or something and I don't feel like watching that many seasons just so I can watch this show and besides I already asked a bunch of people on my Instagram if I could watch Degrassi Next Class and still understand everything and like it. And pretty much 95% of people said yes. And it's not necessary to watch previous versions. Although I would understand, you know, the backstory more obviously, but it's not necessary. Basically, Degrassi Next Class is like its own show, despite there being previous versions. So I'm gonna listen to the majority of people in not watch other versions especially considering i already started this one and i already like it and i pretty much understand everything so far don't really feel the need to stop watching now as far as the ships go i mean so far no ship has really caught my eye even remotely but if you guys have any ships that you think i should keep my eye on please let me know because as of right now no ship has stuck out to me at all but it's still early and obviously that that could change I really hope it does because even though I am more than capable of enjoying a show even without loving a ship like with the Fosters I'm not really in love with any ship on that show but I love the show but to me really really loving a ship just really makes me enjoy the show that much more so I'm hoping one of these ships really can grab my attention and hopefully grab my heart. It's not looking good so far though. But overall, I would say that I am enjoying the show. Definitely not in love with it or anything. But I can definitely see that the show has a lot of potential. And I'm hoping that the more that I watch it, the more that I will continue to love it. Because the only way that I can binge watch a show like really fast is if I'm in love with it. Otherwise, I'm just gonna take my time and it's gonna take forever or I'm just gonna stop watching but we shall see and I will keep you guys updated as I watch more episodes but I'm done talking uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below and if you guys really enjoy my videos and want to help me make many more videos for you guys going forward check out that patreon link in the description box and if you guys enjoyed this video you know what to do but as always until next time